Hi everybody, RFB Shard here for a quick video for you guys. Um, now, this is my Starship Troopers custom sort of mini diorama. Uh, this is actually a fully articulated um, figure. Unfortunately, I have one hand because I have to hold the camera. But basically, claws move up and down, left and right. Um, the legs all move. And this is, of course, a, a custom that I made. And I was asked um, about my process and how I made it. And basically, I got to the stage where um, I can show you guys some ideas of, of how I'm making them. Because I'm now on to my second custom, as you can see here. Now, this is a slightly different build. The process is pretty much the same. Um, as you can see, the joints are um, arms from Mega Sets. Uh, I just used a multitude that I have in my parts bin. Um, and I'm going to build the claws on top of these toothpicks. Um, because that is basically what I did with the other one. Uh, it gives it the right height. It allows me to build a more stable claw slash talon because that's these things here. Is the claws I basically built them the same um, uh, this this one the original was hand carved um, using uh, this stuff milliput it's a two-part uh, epoxy um, that you mix together in equal parts it becomes uh, solid and I used, uh, basically built it in two parts, like the lower thorax here, the base body part. And then once that was cured, I built the top part on top of it, um, gave it a rough shape. It didn't look like this. It was a very rough shape, um, but then carved it out with my... <sighs> Sorry, my desk is, of course, a fucking mess because I'm always working on stuff using my X-Acto knife. My two X-Acto knives. And, of course, my handy-dandy Dremel. This is a cordless Dremel because I don't like cords everywhere. Um, so, basically, I just carved out the shape um, using some reference images in order to get what I wanted. And then, of course, now that I made a complete mold, of, I've used this one, I made a mold, which is just a two-part silicone, so that I can now, which is what that is, um, I basically just fill this mold with liquid plastic. Eh. Which is a useful little material. Oh, leaves the stuff I get from, yeah, Fastcast P resin FC one hundred. Or I did used to use S SG two thousand, but it left too many bubbles, and that of course leads to um, miss castings and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, that's the process right now. I'm about to start um, building the actual claws. And to do that, I need to find the other box. Um, this is the stuff I use. It's called Green Stuff. Uh, there's a dedicated website where you can get it. It's called greenstuffworld.com or .net. It's one of those. I get it on eBay. Um, you can get it from, like, Games Workshop, but you don't get as much, and it's really, really fucking expensive. The other name for it, I believe, is Canadite, or Canadite, or something like that. Um, it's, again, another two-part, um, epoxy putty, um, but it acts slightly different. It's more like a plastic when it's cured, whereas this is more like, um, stone when it's cured, because it's quite tough. Um, and actually, surprisingly, if you mix the two together, um, you get like a really 
interesting stuff that keeps a lot of detail, but is not as brittle as Millipot and is not as flexible as uh, green stuff on its own. So it's pretty decent. But yeah, that's pretty much my procedure. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, that's what I am doing. I'm also in the process of uh, making more of my uh, Morta rifles for the Marines. Because I've got my second... Uh, uh, hang on. Yeah, so there's my Razak. My Lieutenant Junior Razak. I made a smaller carbine for him because he has a smaller carbine in the movie. Um... I gave the larger carbine to this guy, who I found a, another head that I thought was more useful. Uh, I need to finish off the paintwork on the lower part of his armor, and I made ugh, this dude. Now, if anybody watched the uh, Roughnecks animated uh, CG show, this is Chaz. Which I believe stands for something. It's an acronym. But it's basically a robotic um, trooper that was brought in to possibly replace actual troopers. But it was like too expensive or some shit. And he only lasted like one episode. But it was a cool character. And I liked the mold that I did. So. I only just finished him yesterday. As I said, I am always building stuff. So... Mm. Anyway, this is just to answer some questions uh, I've been getting asked on the Facebook group uh, and um, sort of the mega constructs forums and stuff when I post customs. Um, just to let you guys know a little bit of my process, how I do things, the materials that I use. Um, yeah, there's like a whole bunch of like half done customs and stuff over there. <laughs> Because that's pretty much my process. Completed customs are all on display. Um, because, yeah, fuck it. I make a lot of stuff. And I like it. So that's why I do it. And I went, I went a long way from my original concept of an arachnid to my version 2. So this is pretty much all uh, mega stuff. And I made claws. Again, same sort of way I did those ones. But it wasn't good enough. I'm a lot happier with the uh, version 2. And of course the dead marine with the giant chunk out of him. Because he's normally in... I normally leave him in the jaws of that thing. In the diorama. But, uh, yeah. Alright guys, so thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Um, I am Arva Bichard. I am also... Uh, on Facebook and, and other things, and I've got multiple names, but mostly on the Mega Constructs forum and gallery page, I am Arthur B. Shard, and on YouTube, Arthur B. Shard. So, alright, thanks for watching. Peace out, guys. I will catch you all next time, and thank you for watching.